Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Impact Photo. I'm your host, Dustin Meyer, and today we're going to check out something pretty cool. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard about JPEG Mini, but it is an extension. Actually, it's standalone software, but they also have a plug-in. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. Uh, for those of you photographers out there that work with really li uh, large files, uh, like I do, I have a uh, Nikon D810, and it's uh, got extremely high resolution. I think it's like somewhere up in the uh, like upper 20s or maybe, I don't know, like 32 or something like that. It's crazy anyways. Um, but my files are really big, especially, you know, if I just uh, save them at full size quality in Photoshop or Lightroom. So, um, but the cool thing about JPEG Mini is that it allows you to um, just kind of, you know, shrink stuff down. But the really cool thing is here, I'm going to just see if I can pull it up here. So here is their uh, standalone software. You just drag a photo into it and then it shrinks it down um, to a manageable file size, uh, sometimes up to like even a quarter of the file size or, or more. Um, and I've done a review on this before way back in the day and did like a side-by-side -side image quality test. And the cool thing about it is it's actually, uh, there is no image degradation uh, and zoomed in at 100%. It looks exactly the same as a standard uh, compressed JPEG file. Plus the other cool thing is, and I've gone back and looked at this, it doesn't strip any of the metadata from your images either. So. For those of you guys that have a lot of files, you know, wedding photographers, commercial photographers, portrait photographers, uh, this is a huge, huge space saver for uh, all the, uh, you know, um, external hard drives that you probably have so, <laughs> that are probably taking up uh, your entire desk space or maybe even in your bathtub or whatever. So, um, but anyways, they have some plugins and they've had one for Lightroom for a long time, uh, which works fantastic. You just export as many images as you want in one batch and it compresses all of them in JPEG Mini uh, while you're exporting them as JPEGs onto your hard drive. Uh, but they haven't had one for Photoshop yet, which, um, People have been asking for for a long time. I've been really rooting for this. But anyways, I'm going to jump right into this. And they now have a beta version of the uh, Photoshop uh, plugin for JPEG Mini. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to export real quick something from Lightroom. So just so you guys can see, right up here, it's uh, 4912 by 7360. So it's a pretty big file. Uh, what I'm going to do is just right click here. And we're gonna go edit in to Photoshop. We're gonna give that a second. So uh, once again, it's it's a huge time saver and uh, or well time saver and space saver and uh, hopefully pretty soon they'll make this available to the public so that uh, you can actually export this from Photoshop without having to drag it into. Uh, the standalone software, which is what some of us have had to do in the past. Uh, now, just for comparison purposes, here's the full size file uh, down here, uh, uncompressed. It's 103 megabytes. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that and you just have to take my word for it. But right now what I'm gonna do is just do a standard uh, JPEG save as, and I'm gonna make a folder on my desktop here. Uh, we're gonna call it, let's see here, test JPEG mini. And we're gonna do JPEG and save. And we're gonna see right now at quality 12, at the highest quality, it's looking at 13.5 megabytes. So we'll click okay. And now that's done. And it's still, again, once again, it's the same file. It's 103.4 megabytes. I'm gonna go over here to the extension for JPEG Mini, <clears throat> excuse me, and go to export with JPEG Mini. It's gonna open up the same dialog. I'm just gonna create another one, dash one, and we're gonna export this using the JPEG Mini plugin for Photoshop. And now that's done. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to the folder And I'm gonna drag these, well, first of all, let's see here. Okay, so the first one that we uh, exported was 14.2 megabytes. <clears throat> and then when we exported it with the, excuse me, I'm gonna drink my coffee. <clears throat> and then when we exported it using the JPEG mini plugin for Photoshop, uh, we get 
15 or I'm sorry 5.1 megabytes so that's pretty huge that's a third of the size so imagine having a terabyte external drive uh, and you know crushing it down to only where only you know if it's completely full only having down to just one third of it being full so that's uh, three times as much so now what we're going to do is I'm going to open both of these back into Photoshop and we're going to do side-by-side -side comparison so Let's see, window, workspace, ah, two up vertical, and we're going to do view 100%, and view 100%. And I don't know how well you guys can tell, but this is uh, the exact same quality. There's no JPEG artifact. Um, it's not blurry or anything. There's the same amount of detail. Uh, there's no... Uh, color shift or you know any sort of change from the original uh, look I mean they're exactly identical except one is a third of the size as the other one so uh, for those of y'all out there who uh, really want to save some space on your hard drives uh, for all those pictures that you've taken first off you can go to jpegmini.com check out their standalone software. They've got standard JPEG mini. There's JPEG mini pro, which allows you to do batching as well as larger file sizes. And it takes uh, uh, more advantage of the different of the more processor cores in your computer. So it's faster. And there's also the Lightroom plugin with a uh, JPEG mini pro uh, that helps you uh, crush all the images as you export them from Lightroom. But now they've uh, got one in development in beta for Photoshop. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think. If you have experience with JPEG Mini and you've got something to say about it, put it in the comments below. Um, if you got some questions, you know, just throw them down there as well. Also, if you uh, if you learned something today or if you like something, you know, just uh, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We're coming out with new videos all the time. And once again, everybody, this is Dustin Meyer with Impact Photo. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. over it again that'll also help with things like imperfections or facial shine all that good stuff that none of us want the outside world to see sometimes i wish i could do this to myself live but you know out in the real world um, so we're going to go back in here because i jumped again we're going to go to imperfections and just kind of raise it up a little bit keeping an eye on everything uh, facial shine just be a little careful with this because if you go too high with it then it does bring away some of the definition